Support. The maestro, please! While the heat has increased to an almost absurd extent, it's unfortunate that the number of albums has also not increased to an absurd extent. This'll be for the week of... July 29th. 2023. On this day in music back in 1973, the summer jam at Watkins Glen Music Festival happened. It had an attendance of over 600,000, setting the record at the time for the highest attended pop music festival. Oddly enough, only 150,000 of those people actually paid for tickets, because the rest were just admitted free and got to enjoy bands such as the Grateful Dead, the Allman Brothers Band, and the band. <laughs> It's not often we get an album of solo violin music, let alone from a composer such as Eugene Asaye, but if somebody was going to do it, it would be Hilary Hahn, who we talked about the last time this happened, given she was playing Bach. Don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. It's not often we get a new John Coltrane album, given I mean new as in it's the first time it's released. This was obviously recorded much longer ago, back in 1961. They actually just discovered these recordings in a New York public library collection. It was recorded by Richard Alderson back in the day, just for posterity's sake. Singing. Nothing new on the rock charts at all this week, given people seem to be loving Zach Bryan, Noah Kahn, and Jelly Roll, so there's that if you want to re-listen to it. Third studio album from King Von, his second posthumous work, following up what it means to be king back in 2022. The album title is a throwback to his very first mixtape, Grandson Volume 1, which is also what King Von's nickname was. Obviously, King Von doesn't exactly have any grandchildren yet, but he does have a son who we see here on the album cover. <laughs> The top 10 on the dance and electronic charts hasn't even changed at all from last week. And now I need some help from the maestro, please! I think I wanna stay right here tonight, cause I could be dangerous. Cause I could be dangerous. Honestly, if you wanna listen to the second most recent album of an artist, you shouldn't listen to this one. It must be exhausting, always rooting for the anti hero. You should listen to this one. You know, shout out to Peso Pluma, surrounded on both sides by Morgan Wallen and Taylor Swift, but really holding it down. Shout out to the album, shout out to the artist, shout out to the genre. I know that last night we let the liquor talk, I can't remember. That house in the background is actually his grandfather's house in Sneedville, Tennessee. You need to hear me out and they said speak now. The fact that she released another Taylor's version of her discography while on her biggest tour at the same time is quite the marketing strategy and probably why we have two of her albums in the top five on the Billboard 200 right now. So there you have it as we wrap up July. Come back next week to see how we start off August. And now I need some help out of my stove, please. My stove. Please, my stuff, please.